You can't talk about humectants without talking about hydration. And you can't talk about hydration without talking about humectants. If love is the universal language, then dehydration is the universal skin condition. We all suffer from it. No matter if you're oily, mature, combo, dry, all of our skin types can get dehydrated. So that makes skin hydration the ultimate goal. Hydrated skin absorbs stuff better. This study said that aging is primarily related to two factors. Extrinsic, meaning UV rays, sun damage, and intrinsic, meaning loss of hydration. And you know the glow? You know what I'm talking about. That infamous glow. That, my friends, is skin hydration. So hopefully by now you're like, okay, how do I hydrate my skin? Well, let's talk about humectants. That's the title of this video. That's what we're here to talk about. Let's jump right in. First, what do they do? Well, they have the ability to bind water to the skin. And they do that in two ways. First, some humectants will sit on top of the skin and hold water to them. Other humectants, like humectants of low molecular weight, will be absorbed into the top layer of skin and hold moisture there. Now, how do they do that? Well, a little chemistry talk, is they have an affinity to form hydrogen bonds with molecules of water. Humectants like hyaluronic acid have the power to hold on to a thousand times their weight in water. That's how much they love water. What you need to know next is that our body makes two of its own humectants, hyaluronic acid, which originates here in the dermis and also occurs down here in the epidermis. Interesting to note that hyaluronic acid occurs in many areas of the body. However, it is most abundant in the skin. Second is urea. That is right, I said urea. That occurs inside our corneocyte cells which are located in the stratum corneum, in something called the natural moisturizing factor. We can talk more about that in another video. So let's list a few humectants. First up, one of the very most common, and like I said, made in your body is hyaluronic acid. Next up, honey, aloe vera, sugar, glycerin, urea, sorbitol, molasses, and seaweed. These are just to name a few. So I have a couple scientific studies to talk about, but before we move forward, let's do a little recap about things we've talked about in other videos. Well, the first thing that we're gonna talk about with humectants is trans epidermal water loss. If you remember correctly, that our skin is always in a steady state of losing moisture. We can't see it, but it's happening. No, it's not sweat, it's just kind of our skin's natural amazing ability to keep our water balance in check. So like we mentioned in our last video about trans epidermal water loss is that humidity plays a huge role. My TEWL is probably less than if I lived in a very dry climate say like Northern California or Colorado. Now how does that pertain to skincare? In this study they essentially found that if you increased the hydration of the top layer of the skin, you reduced the amount of TEWL. And when you did that, the skin became more permeable. When they used low molecular weight humectants, they saw structural changes in the stratum corneum, particularly pertaining to the lipid and protein mobility which in turn facilitated molecular diffusion of smaller molecules, meaning your skin absorbed things better. So this video doesn't essentially have to be complicated. We don't have to go down a very scientific -y road, do we, to understand that the skin needs hydration? Okay, so let's talk about some products really quick. I just talked about this Wamisa toner on Wednesday. It is packed with humectants. So when I'm layering seven, four, three layers on my face, I'm essentially laying a product 
layering on a product that's going to hold on to moisture, hold on to water, and make my skin feel more supple, more plump, and more hydrated, which is a result that you can get with other humectants. So let's keep going. Let's talk about this product. This product, as well as that toner, are pretty much my obsessions right now. Let's talk about the ingredients in this. This is the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Facial Serum. This retails for $29. It's a pretty good sized bottle. It has a very um, thick texture to it. Very much similar to the toner. You can tell it is packed with humectants because of that sticky feeling. Okay, so it's got organic aloe leaf juice, organic vegetable glisten, hyaluronic acid. That means the first three ingredients are humectants. They don't call it hydrate for no reason. And the last product is that I was just going to mention is this Garden of Wisdom It Just Happened Amazing Skin Hydrator. It also is based in aloe vera gel. Are we seeing a trend here? Get some, if you are looking to try to pack on humectants on your face, start out with just straight aloe and see how your skin responds. Um, this also has hyaluronic acid, sodium PCA, ceramide compounds, and Lucidal SF. This is also a pretty inexpensive product, a great way to try layering hydration onto your face. I think where I'm headed with my skincare is focusing on hydration from the inside by drinking more water as well as focusing on really just layering on hydrating products and using a cream to seal it all in. I don't know guys, wearing that, that article I read about hyaluronic acid basically said that Primarily one of the reasons that aging skin becomes dull and less plump and a little lackluster is that lack of hydration. Um, and I think we all recognize that when we're dehydrated and our skin is not looking its best. So if you're looking to amp up your skin hydration, get some hydrating humectant rich products.